Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome to the Winter Wonderland here at the cabin. Today's episode, finally! We've been waiting months and months and months. Oh, come on, pups. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, let me move the crate. Okay. Oh, oh, rip. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, we're down at the cabin for the first ever overnight stay. This thing is finally ready to be uh, stayed in. Um, it's not like a thousand percent. No, you know, there's still trim pieces. I mean, you can see the door still looks like that. But I wanted to get in here, um, especially on a day like today, which as you can see, it's freaking getting it. It's snowing right now. This is, it's freezing. This morning was really warm, sunny. We got the scaffolding out of there. Lucy, Lucy, don't go on the ice. All of a sudden, two hours later, it's like this. It's frozen. The wind, it does not seem windy down here because we're way, way down, but up in my house it's blowing 35 to 40 miles an hour here dude it's like almost dead calm right like right where we're standing this is kind of crazy this is really cool because it does give us a nice there you go lucy there you got it there you go yeah break it in that's uh get it out now you're staying tonight okay all right anyway so we're staying at the cabin this is the first ever stay at the cabin basically we're overnight okay. we've we've got everything loaded up we've got dog beds tools we've got some projects banjo's with me banjo's not gonna be able to sleep over though we only have one bed i sh i ordered a bunch of beds off amazon and they're not here yet so he's gonna have to go home early me and the two dogs are gonna stay here overnight like so we've got some projects to work on just little things banjo you got a new video game Yes, I did. It, what, I what's it called? You, uh, like the hunting simulator or something. You basically just kill things. Yeah. So I'm down. So we'll play some play some PlayStation um, and just kind of chill, hang out. We're gonna cook, cook dinner, cook breakfast. In case you guys are curious, right now is about 5 p.m. So uh, it's gonna get dark here probably pretty quick. We're gonna go ahead and jump in there and start to get to work. But one big project we have, not big, but first things first. That thing, that is not OSHA approved. It is right up against the freaking wood. So I bought an extender and a rain cap. So that way like the snow and the, the water can't get in it. So I'm going to do that. We're going to fire up the stove, get heat up. We did bring a little buddy heater um, basically for to, so I can put it on myself throughout the night if it is really, really cold. I don't know how warm the stove is really going to make this place. Um, but I'll give you guys a quick tour before we get started. We need a door handle. Come on. Oh my God. Hey, don't get on my bed. No, I got your, your own bed. Okay. Maybe I'll put them up in the lock. No, that's a bad. I should jump down. Lizzie, get! I d did I not just say that is my bed? You're not cuddling with me either. I'm gonna put your bed on the ground. You can sleep next to me, but you're not sleeping on my bed. Why are you guys like this? So here's the cab. We're gonna give it to it. I will say at the end of today's episode, I'm gonna put a full time lapse of this build from day one when this was some grass. Okay. Uh, all the way to this. I'm gonna do a time lapse. So stay tuned to the end of this video if you want to see a start to finish time lapse of this entire cabin. If you guys are new to the channel, we built this by hand ourselves with Beefcake Construction LLC, being my dad, my uncles, my brother, Pool Jet, Banjo, Zach. Um, we had a whole bunch of other people come out and help us, but we built it ourselves. So, look at the Millie. No, don't. Hey, give me that pencil. No, no, that's a nice pencil. Hey, Lucy, 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 it, no, drop it. Lucy, no, that's a nice pencil. Do not eat that pencil. So like I said, at the, no, at the end of today's episode, you can see a time lapse, but I'll give you guys a quick tour. Here's the kitchen we built. We've got a nice stove top. We're, like, we're gonna clean all this up. Like I said, that's part of us staying here. Get a couple of little chores done um, and get it kind of ready. We've got a light to install as well, but cooktop, you can put cook pretty much anything on it. Lucy, you see a deer out there? That's where the deer are gonna be coming from. So we might, we, we brought some pews. We might shoot a deer tonight, tomorrow morning, depends on what happens. But we've got countertops here. Clean this off. Obviously there's a loft up there. There's nothing up there yet. We've got more beds coming. We built these bunk beds out of two I-4s and we have one mattress, so that's what I'm saying. But hit the, hit the little power button on the, the red doohickey thing. Yeah, yep. Boom, we got power, folks. We got solar panels that are, we have yet to drill a hole in the side, so we've got a hole right here, so that's lit, letting out a little bit of heat, but we got one solar panel on there. We still have two on the way, so eventually I'd like to hook up more, so we've got a little bit more power, but we've got, what are you eat? why are you eating stuff? Quit. That is a piece of coal. That That is a piece of burnt wood. Why would you do that? Don't do that. Over here, two camo recliners. We got the fish lamp, so we're gonna hook the fish lamp up. It's not hooked up yet. Wood burning stove, we're gonna get that, as soon as I get the pipe on there, then we're gonna get that fired up. Would you quit eating wood? We've got flat screen, PlayStation 4 Entertainment Center, lamp with a missing light bulb that I was supposed to buy today, totally forgot, and a Christmas tree, tis the season. Oh, and, and, we got Christmas lights outside, right there, so, we're festive. So anyways, we are gonna be staying in this tonight. We, like I said, the back of the meal's loaded up with all sorts of food, goodies. We're not, it's not like a survival challenge, we, but, you know, we're off, we're off grid. We're on propane, we're on solar power, and bottled water. That's basically what we're dealing with. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get up there first, get that thing done, done did so we can start getting the stove heated up. That's gonna be priority so this whole thing starts warming up. Then we're gonna unload everything, like I said, and then start cleaning up, getting started with some projects. Like I said, we've got a light we need to put up here, clean the cooktop, it's almost time for dinner. We've got some deer brats, I think they're cheddar, so it's from one of the deer that we shot. Actually, this one would be, it'd be the backyard deer. Yeah, it would be the backyard deer. So we've got some brats, some food, and like I said, then in the morning, I'll stay the night here, and then in the morning, we're gonna cook some breakfast. So with that being said, you guys stay tuned. Folks, we got, there's some lighting. We got this guy going, he got cleaned up. This thing was nasty, dirty. We got that little heater going for right now just to heat up this area. Lucy, what are you doing there, buddy? I gave you guys three bones, you can't figure it out. Still, still a tough decision, trying to figure out which one to get. So, it's time to start a fire in here. Well, I think you can see your breath because of the propane, but we're just gonna start a fire, and while the fire's going, we're gonna put the doorknob on this. That's priority. And then I say next, let's get the light above the cooktop installed and then we can start cooking um, once we have a little bit more light. But honestly, this is lit up pretty well. This this is obviously really dark, which is why I've got that other light. But like, and we're missing a bulb, which doesn't help things. But this actually is not looking too bad. Hey. What, what's that strat? What do you, Lucy? Lucy, there's three. Look, one, two, and then three. Millie? There you go. Figure, I gave you an extra one just so you guys could figure it out, okay? And then we do have this lamp over here. Uh, I was taking that light bulb off. Since oh, I have it plugged in well, right I, we, we will. We will uh, have it plugged in. We're working on it. I want to leave that one there. I should have bought another light bulb, but I totally forgot. Is it this cold in here or is it because the propane's on? It's because the propane's on. You think so? Yeah, I feel like every time you go hunting, it's not bad. And as soon as you turn the heater on, you start. Maybe. I'm like, not because we walked in here, it was not like no. this. No, yeah, at all. You're right. Anyways, let's Probably get good. let's get this fire going. We're gonna get this thing ripping. And like I said, then install the door knob, get some lights going. We're gonna run some new extension cords to get that light going. Play some PlayStation, cook some food. Luke, Lucy, I buy you two nice beds, option A and B, and you pick mine. I think I might just have to be top bunk. Like yeah. leave that as yeah, there, get, give my nice bedding a new bed up top and they can just sleep on there. And I bought these for basically no reason today. So anyways, let's get this fire going. All right, so here's the wood burning stove. Oh yeah, you got some ashes. So you gotta clean this sucker out from our, this was from our test run burner. So do one of these doohickeys. Whoa, that's still hot. How is that still warm? That's crazy. And I did get the, the rain cap put on up top. We didn't film that. We were in the middle of a time lapse and I was like, ah, oh, Banjo, I got it. You don't need to hold the ladder. And then I was like, Banjo, I need you to hold the ladder. So we got it figured out. So we added 12 more inches up so it goes way past the roof. And we added a really bougie rain cap. So we really shouldn't have any water issues now. And it, and it shouldn't, now I feel better like being in here and sleeping, I was kind of worried because it was so close to the roof. Like this thing catches fire and I'm a heavy sleeper. Like. I'll just die, you know, so we can't have that. So now that we got it past the roof, I think we will be in better shape. So let's set that over here. Okay. I did get this nice new firewood rack too. I'll just give it one of these guys. You stack all your all your wood in here. Have you ever used these? No, I thought I got those though. I don't know, I figured we should try them. If it saves us from having to use like a bunch of cardboard, you know. So do you think they're like doused in like kerosene or something? We're gonna load the sucker up because we're gonna be going all tonight throughout the night and then how often do you gotta clean this thing because like, it you know, probably a daily thing just every day start cleaning it up they make vacuums but i figured that wasn't quite that wasn't like off-gridish enough you know the old shovel manual labor it's like shampoo fire starter instant flame gel oh dude it's literally like shampoo okay so let me scrape this off that i spilled Lucy, Lucy, leave me alone. Look at that. It's like Germex. You ever burn Germex? No, because I'm not a psychopath. What do you mean? <laughs> Germex like lights on fire and you can like carry it because it's not hot. What school did you go to? But actually, they taught me at school, Bible class. You play, you're just like, Bible, really? Yeah, you put it on the table and our teacher would just touch it. So you can sit here and, and do this with just a flame of Germex? Pretty much. 
Alright, for the sake of me not getting sued, no you can't. That is illegal, you can't do that. Alright, it's getting it now. I think we're good. Do you think you get more heat in your house by shutting it or leaving it open? You would think, the easy answer would be leaving it open, but like, what, keep trapping the heat and heating up. Because yeah. this is cast iron and that's what really radiates the heat. How does it close? Alright, we're going to close then. You guys, I've, clearly I've never had a wood burning stove in my life. It's pretty, pretty obvious, so if you guys have any tips for me, let me know. Anyways, fire is good. I pretty much just used all the wood I just got, so I might be cold tonight. Um, next up, let's get the door handle on. Gee, look at this. Boom. We definitely did not install it right, but hey, if it opens, it opens, right? Okay. See, it, does, it don't shut all the way. I don't, actually, I bet I, it's from that, I bet that screw's blocking it. Mm. All right, let me take, I gotta take this. The only thing I'm worried about is like one day if it shifts a little bit and you go outside and then you twist and it doesn't, then you're locked out you're and break, climbing through the window. Break down the door. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna fix this a little bit. Next up, light. Let's get a light above the kitchen so we can start cooking. It's starting to get dark outside. I mean, look at this. This is, this is a full-blown blizz blizzard. English stuff. It is a full-blown blizzard, folks. Look at them Christmas lights up there, though. But look at this. Pond's freezing up again. I mean, we've already got like half an inch out here. It's literally a blizzard down here. And up top, I swear it's blowing 40 miles an hour. Down here, it doesn't seem like it because we're way down in a valley, but it's pretty cool. Our first night's we like we got this done just in time. Like we literally finished the interior yesterday. So it's like if we would have waited like three more days, imagine doing the tin roof in this. No. You, ain't, you ain't doing it. No. So we got we got lucky. So anyways, next up, let's get that light installed. Keep going right there. Shoo, look at this lighting, folks. This thing's intense. Wow, we're pretty impressed with it. This thing's like 10 bucks. Obviously, like, you know, minor details. We need to, like, either run staples or some form to run your wire or something and, like, run it along this and then straight down the post and you can hide it right here. But those are just, like, minor details. This, how's that going? You got fruit roll -ups. Oh, I got the good stuff. Oh, yeah, I didn't even show you guys what I bought, okay? So this is what we're digging into. We got hot dog buns because we got... Deer broths. We got Pringles. Those are the best. Barbecue. The barbecue is the yeah. best. This is some more jerky from the deer, and then this is what we're eating: bacon cheddar broths. Woo! Right on the grill. Did you make this? Oh, I forgot about this. We got soup. Macy made. Uh, what is this? This is chicken. Chicken tortilla. Yeah. Chicken tortilla soup, and it's frozen in a bag. We can actually start with this. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up. Oh yeah, and snack packs. Yeah. yeah, we need. We got snack packs. Fill up a this pot right here with water, and then you stick that in there. And we can have, we're gonna have some soup, some broths, that type of stuff, and then snack packs for dessert and roll ups. So that's basically it. This is, dude, this light is, it made me feel so much better. Cause for a while, I mean, look at this. Look at the difference here. Wait, no, no. Look, look. I can't even see you. Look at this compared to this. Shoo. Temperature wise, so you can still see your breath. I'm telling you, it's the it's gotta be the propane. So we got this thing figured out. I, I ended up fixing this, by the way, so it actually goes in. So you're not gonna get locked out. But over here, though, dude. I'd be freaking sweating if I'm sitting in this chair right now. It is like, it's, nice and toasty. it's hot to where I wish I would have put the bed a little bit closer to this, yet? but no, I, yeah, go ahead and give it a peek. What's it looking like in there? Oh God, yeah. Oh my gosh. She's getting it right now, look at that. Dude, I think we should use this and put the, you think we should put this on there? The soup? Yeah, the soup. Good. Dude, oh my God, dude, the temperature difference from there to this side of the room. I mean, we've been here for what? I guess probably about one hour. It's really not that long. I don't, I wonder how long it's supposed to take. To heat the whole room. Yeah, or like, will it heat the whole room? There's no blower. I know I, I, I was kind of, I was hesitant to buy this one because it's like the smallest one they made, but it was the only one that I could find in stock. Like anywhere in town, I couldn't find any. I feel like it's, maybe you just got to give it some time. Like it's just, it, this, we're starting from scratch. So like it, it started from really cold to heat up. It probably takes like an afternoon to heat up a whole building like this. So well, we've got one of these guys going, which helps like this area, but the temperature difference from there to here. So let me know, is that thing way too small? It said 900 square feet. The floor is like 386 in here. I'm not really sure. When I sleep there tonight, I can at least have that guy on me. I'm not going to be freezing. And as long as that thing overnight, I bet in the morning, it'll be probably pretty warm in here. So anyways, we're about to get to cooking. Let's get the soup on. We're going to get the brats on and get some lunch, we gotta stay tuned.
shit, look at the meal, boys. Kind of looks like a struggle meal, low key, though. So, it, it, you know what would make it more of a struggle is like a piece of Wonder Bread. Yeah. Like, oh, that's a struggle yeah, meal, which is. it's low key not bad. But as you can see, our brats are done. I cooked two extra because it came in a four pack for the old doggos. They're going to have to stay full basically throughout this evening's um, and overnight and stuff like that. So, we're going to let that. Is that hot? Oh, I'm going to go in. We're, no, no sauce. Oh, nothing. you're burning. You're burning your mouth, I bet. Ooh, you hear that crunch, though? That is amazing. Is that good? Is it too hot or no? Mm -mm. Really? That crunch factor was pretty crazy. That yeah, was. That cheese factor, though? Really? Oh, this is That's good. Ba bacon and cheddar. I can tell. Taste That's the bacon. ultimate combo. But we did cook up some soup. I'm going to try that. So we cooked it on the actual wood stove, which is kind of cool. I guess I've never cooked anything on that. Ooh, it smells fire. Mmm. Oh, dude, that's way better than I thought. That hits the spot on a blizzard day. Like, this is, this would make for a good lunch. I mean, it's a good dinner, but like, a good lunch tomorrow. I don't think you're gonna like it. Look at these dogs. You want, you want, you want a brat? I think you're gonna like a deer brat. Mm. For, for a cold winter day. That's really good. I feel like that's the deal. Just reheat. This is homemade. This is no yeah. Campbell's. No, definitely not. That's some homemade, that's some homemade goodness. I'm gonna show you guys outside. We don't have the Christmas lights on because we took the plug for the top light. We don't want to drain too much energy, but look at this. It's still a winter wonderland out here. This is crazy. Like, look how much snow has fallen since we've been in here. And it's still getting it right now. This is just, this is perfect. This is the perfect cabin vibe for our first night. Like I said, we, we, we timed it correctly. Um, but anyways, I got to get in for, I got to get on this little deer broad action. So it's not too hot is what you're telling me? Mmm, a crunch. Oh, God, yeah. It cooks perfectly. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a deal there. Let's see. You want to buy it, buddy? You want to buy the deer bot? All right, I'm going to cut them up a couple pieces here. Good girl. You sit, Lucy. Sit. There you go. How was that? Did you even taste it, buddy? And we got, obviously, some Pringles. And I already, I, dessert first. Okay, I'm a fan of that. I had my snack pack early. But dessert for me is going to be my... Fruit roll up. I haven't had one of these in a while. And we got some snacks. This is for later. They get hungry tonight. Some teriyaki and original. This is all deer that we shot in the backyard. So we get some fruit roll up action going here. Do these? They don't have tattoos on them. I don't know. What, what was the strategy? Like, think about that. Who was the guy that was like, people eat this. Let's have it. Give it them a tattoo on their tongue. I think a pretty marketing genius would, yeah. would say. You know what I mean? Because I always, I always buy them. And get the cool the cool tattoos. Serial killers eat them like this, right? No one eats them like that, right? How do you eat it? I think that's just how I ate it. No, you roll it up. Like this. <laughs> and you pack a lip. That's how you eat a fruit roll up, Seth. So a redneck eats it. That's true. All right, well, we're gonna finish our meal, fire up the old PlayStation, start movie hunting, whatever. Flies yeah. it dives, it's brown, it's down. You gotta stay tuned. Alrighty, folks. Well, we got done eating dinner. We're ready to just relax a little bit. It's getting late now, so you can see it's dark out, but we've got a hunting simulator going up there, which we've never played before. So we're gonna play hunting simulator just for a little bit and let you guys know how it is. Oh God, yeah, look at this hunting simulator. Why haven't we got this game sooner? Campaign free hunt? Caroline. Really? Caroline looks like a beast. I want to be Caroline Coleman. Nah, I don't need a support. I just want to kill some things here. Primary weapon? 243, that's all I get? You guys hear a beeping? This inverter's beeping and I covered it with a blanket. That's probably the smartest thing to do. Let me know if you guys like, I need you guys to help in the comments. Like, how should I rig this up? If I have three solar panels, how do you, you know, do you do three separate batteries? I get, I think it's the inverter that I'm, that I have the problem with. The inverter is not the correct thing to be using. It's just like a random 1000 watt, which is, this is only pulling 283 watts. So I don't know why it's beeping, but anyways, if you hear a beep, I apologize. I'm going to try avoiding that, but oh God. What is that, a jackrabbit? Really? Did I just kill Chungus? How did you just kill Chuck? That was easy. Oh God, what are these? Freaking caribou? What are those? Elk? Oh God, yeah, right through the heart too. Oh snap! Wait, why didn't he stop? You gotta put another one in him. Wait, which? Which one? Is he? <laughs> you missed. I, I can't see him. I can't see him. Oh, I hit him again. I got hit markers. Oh wait, wait, what? Is it? Is it? Are they saying this gun sucks? Is that what they're saying? Yeah, they want to I, I think they're saying this gun sucks. See you later, Bambi. Mule deer. Really? Really? God, this is impossible. <laughs> oh, you're kidding! Let's freaking.
freaking go! Oh, ho, ho, Bambi's down for the count. So do you have to retrieve animals? It's like poaching. What's the, how do you play this game? I'm genuinely curious because I just smoked the deer. You know what we need to do? We need to invent a game where you do catch and cooks, okay? You go out, you shoot Bambi, you go in there, you, you cut it up, you chef it up, and you cook it. Tell me that's not a good idea. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you're looking good. Lucy, look at the dogs. We got Millie, we got Lucy. Oh, look at these guys, look yeah, at these guys. Oh, I'm God. Get oh, God, that's a muley, too. Oh, I don't know if you got him right in the ass. Yeah, right in the upper back. Oh, look how close he is. Oh, oh come on. Oh. oh, oh, really, really? What are the odds of that? Oh, oh rip, rip, I'll rip. I'll rip. I'll rip. Come on, rip. Come on. You're kill me. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you wound him again. Finish him off. There. Oh, okay. Oh, Caroline. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Shoot the ram! Shoot the ram right in the face! Oh! What? What? Right in the butt. <laughs> I think your deer went down, so you're good. Collateral, collateral, right? Oh, rip! Give me it! There you there go. go, there you go. Bighorn sheep. Look, look at, the, look at the double kill right there. Oh, he's going for the triple. Oh, he's trying to get the UAV. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, <laughs> rip the tree, tree the tree jumped right out at all right, you. We'll go for him. We'll go rip. Dude, buddy, buddy gets control and all of a sudden just smokes a ram and a giant muley. Alright. Big horn sheep, okay. Alright. Not bad. Right through the lungs. What about your big muley? Ooh, stomach shot. <laughs> Beauty. Well, Kind of fun. This is this is low key kind of fun. So, anyways, I mean, we're gonna sit here. I'm not gonna bore you guys, but we'll sit here and play this for a little bit. It's getting it's getting late already, so I think we'll probably hang out here for maybe 20, 30 minutes. Bench is gonna take off. I'm gonna crawl into bread. Into bread. I'm gonna crawl into bread. I'm gonna crawl into bed. Kick the heat back on a little bit. It's pretty chill in here. I might have to. Oh, you got you get one. Oh, red. Oh, red. Why does she always have to reload? Dude, she's always on reload duty. This is incredible. What is this guy doing? I already hit this one once. Oh, that looks like a dog. <laughs> it's Bambi. That's somebody's pet. Oh, and you just killed it. No, you just, you just, oh, right, what? Right. Go catch it. Go catch it. Knife it. Can you do that? Can you melee him? Melee him. Oh, this is messed up. Oh, this is, this is bad. This whole video is getting demonetized because of this. No scope. I'm out of ammo. No scope. Wait, you what? <laughs> she says I'm out of ammo. Wait. Caroline. Wait, it went down. It went down. Oh, okay. It. Oh, my God. It said Bambi. <laughs> Rip. Alright, well, anyways, there's your video game session for the day. There's not much else to do in here. Millie, you want to play a video game, buddy? We're going to throw some more logs on the fire, kick the heat back up, try to get it. He cancel your breath in here. That's good. I mean, I'll probably end up just sleeping in a hoodie, pants, under the covers, chill with the dog, stuff like that. So, I'll give you guys an update once it gets a little bit later. How'd you like the game? It was fun. You good? Yeah. I wish we were killing real deer, but I'll True. take it. Maybe, maybe more morning. I, I said, well, I only have a 22. So I probably shouldn't shoot a deer. Clearly, you can't shoot the 243. Yeah, no Because then, then they just get wounded. But you hear this beep. Okay, I need you guys to saw. I, I mentioned this earlier, but we, we've we killed the PlayStation. It's This is exactly where it was. The only thing I can think of is it's like low battery. It's the, it's the inverter that's beeping. Let me show you. Just so maybe one of you guys at home might know. So this thing right here. That thing's what I got going on. And it's giving it one of those. All I have is a 12-volt battery hooked up to it. That's my setup. If that's... Comment down below if you guys know anything about solar panels or running this power. Is that beeping because it's low battery? Because like we had no problem all day today. And then also when we started to the PlayStation, it started beeping. So I'm going to have to unplug it, clearly, so I can sleep tonight. Um, so we're going to kill lights. But Banjo's taking off. Yep. See you later, guy. Good have luck. Fun. I'm going to cuddle up with the dog. No, no. I was kidding when I said a cuddle. You get, get it in your own bed. Yeah, see, I got the heater right here. And I'm going to put some more logs on there. Millie and Lucy, you're going to sleep here. I'm going to sleep here. So see you later, Banjo. You, I'll, I'll make sure you... You find your way out here. How's the snow looking, by the way? Cool. Lucy, you want to go potty? Lucy, go potty. Don't be don't big. be pooping in the cabin now. Yeah, go you go ahead and start her up. I want to see if the the lights will will show how much snow we've gotten. It's it's getting it right now. That's for sure. Oh God, yeah. Anyways, all right. See you later, Banjo. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Lucy. Go inside. Come on. Oh, good girl. See you later, Banjo. Have a good day. All right. Well, it's just me and the dogs now. Since we this. Oh, I thought the beeping stopped. Dang it! We unplugged it completely. Like I turned the slide off. It don't. It don't do me any good. It's still beeping. So we're gonna have to unplug it here. Um, I'm gonna crawl into bed. Let's let's see what I can. All right, you you can just. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Oh, look at the glow. Now we can see. All right. All right, you guys. Hey, you guys find your beds. You gotta go to bed. Lucy, this is my. No, Lucy, 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 this is my bed. Lucy, no. Lucy, watch out. 
You scoot over. If you you guys both can't cut, this is a twin size bed. Are you out of your mind? Millie, no, let me get into bed first. All right, I'm crawling into bed. Hang on, I'll see if I can prop this up somehow. All right, there we go, that's not bad. Oh yeah, Lucy got down, good. Lucy, find your bed. No, Millie, Millie, you're too big. Oh my God, this is not gonna work. This is gonna be a long night. Oh, this heater feels pretty good over here though. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, no, I'm going to sleep. You lay down. I'm going to bed. All right, so I'm gonna get in my covers. Lucy, are we gonna have a cuddle session with all the dogs? This is, I mean, twins not that, but come on. Come on, all right, we're, we're just cuddling now, okay? Oh yeah, you guys can see me. Hey, how's it going? Why do I have two dogs on a twin bed? This is not gonna work. You will keep me warm though, I will say. And I'll keep you warm. Are you chilly? You're, you can't be chilly, you're a mountain dog. It's not that cold in here. We got, look, we got the heater going right there. You lay down, go night night, go to bed, go to bed. Well, I'll give you guys a quick time check here. It is. 10, 14 p.m., okay, past my bedtime. So I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm not sure if I'll sleep very good with these two doggos right here. You guys, I got you your own bed, you know that? I got, look, two beds, there's two beds. Lucy's over there, maybe maybe she'll figure it out. But anyways, I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Um, it's a little bit early, but I'm just gonna kinda hang out. There's The beautiful thing, honestly, I'm so happy, the beautiful thing about this cabin is there is zero cell phone service. It's amazing, I love it, because that's like, and I'm guilty of it. Like, you just sit there on your phone. It's so easy to rip TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Like, speaking of Instagram, you guys want to follow me, at Fishing Flare, will be linked down below. It's so easy to get caught up in social media, but like, I feel like not having social media and not having, I mean, I don't get phone calls, I don't get texts, I get nothing down here. I feel like it, it's good because it, it makes me, I get bored, and then I start doing things, like creative things, or, or tinkering with things, or fixing up things. It's like, you know, downtime, I always just sit on my phone, but like, if I have no phone, I'm like, oh, let me go fix the sink that's dripping, or, or something. You know what I'm saying? Why these dogs are wrestling on this bed right now, I'm not entirely sure. But we're gonna try to get some sleep. I'll let you know how it goes. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll let you guys know. I'm really hoping just to kinda just to kind of crash. Get some get a good night's rest. Wake up in the morning. We got bacon and we got eggs to cook. We're gonna chef up a nice breakfast, get the fire going. And if we see a deer, well, I can't shoot a deer. But I can shoot a squirrel or something. So, anyways, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, folks. It's uh it's a cold one out here, okay? Can you guys, I don't know if you guys can quite, oh, there you can see me. It's, uh, it's a little chilly out here. I, uh, I got up three times throughout the night to add wood to the fire. And, uh, it's still freezing in here. I don't know if it's too small of a wood burning stove or, I mean, obviously my, ins my ceiling's not insulated, which doesn't help anybody. Uh, but I assumed it would hold heat a little bit better, but that was my setup all night was uh, This is what kept me from dying right there a little pro. Oh red. What are the odds of that? I Might have just ran out of propane. Hang on. Oh We're back. Oh I thought I was dead. Let's get some light in here. So see the time Maybe potentially can you see that there you go. So it's 6 30 a.m. There's some light. Ooh, bright in here. This is how I slept all night. Millie, why are you awake? Every time I got up and fed the fire, you had to get up and walk around with me. Lucy, she got up and found her bone. She's hanging out. But I slept with the dogs all night. They, actually, I wasn't mad about it. They kept me pretty darn warm. It's cold in here. Now, that, might, that might be the propane. I swear, that's a thing. Like, If you've got a propane heater on, you start seeing your breath more. I don't know what the strategy is with that, but I swear it's a thing. So, Anyways, I'm up. I... I I didn't sleep last night. Like, I I wasn't that cold. I mean, I'm wearing my Ducks thermal freaking coat right now, um, and basically buried myself in the blankets all night long. And I didn't sleep that great. Oh, my propane kicked. I think I'm out of propane. My propane just kicked off. Oh, well, it's probably good timing to get up then. I think if I start moving around, my toes are a little cold. If I start moving around, I'll be fine. Honestly, not enjoyable for as much work as we put into this. I, I think it's a combination. It's a too small of a wood burning stove. And I mean, the, also, I will get you guys a temperature check. It's the coldest day ever so far this year, I guess. Right now, it's 15 degrees and feels like negative three. Okay. Negative three. Negative three. Okay. So, in the cabin's defense, in the wood burning stove's defense, you guys are gonna have to let me know. Is this, uh, I mean, if I insulated the roof and got a bigger wood burning stove, do you think I could stay warm all night? Or, like, do you think I could maintain a good temperature in this cabin? Or do you think, like, 
you're just gonna have to Oh, Millie got down. You're gonna have to figure something else out. Let me know. Obviously, insulating the roof would help. I assumed obviously it would help, but like, I didn't think it would make or break whether I would be dying in here or not. And it seems like that's the case, but the wood burning stove is also fairly small. And that it really wouldn't be that hard to replace that. We got all the tubing and stuff up there. So anyways, I'm gonna get up. I have no idea if the lights are gonna work um, or if it's gonna be beeping at me like it was last night. Um, if so, I do have a generator in here. I might just plug all everything into the generator. I know it's like not quite as off gritty, but I don't really want it to be beeping for you guys. We gotta cook breakfast though. I've got uh, a few different things. We got eggs, we got bacon. And then we've got something called malto meal. Some of you guys may or may not know what that is. Um, it's something I grew up eating. I think it's good. Macy thinks it's disgusting. Uh, but I'm going to try making it on the wood stove. I'm not sure if it'll boil water or not. So anyways, I'm going to get up. Let's add some wood to the fire. Hey, the lights came on. Look at that. So far, it didn't start beeping at me. I might just, maybe I'll just limit it to the lighting. Hopefully that doesn't affect what you guys can see. But whew, it's a cold one. It is a, it is a chill out. This thing, I, the propane is back on. I don't know if it's. Just running low, it keeps kicking off. But I had a cha I changed it once throughout the middle of the night. That thing stayed on me all night long. That's the only reason why I'm alive right now. It is, it's freezing in here. I gotta get my Crocs on. Even just walking with socks on, I'm freezing. It is. I mean, yeah, being 15 degrees and feels like negative three ain't the warmest. So, so we, I mean, we did put the cabin to the test, and I would say, as far as like a comfort level, this thing kind of failed, but. I had a good time. These dogs, you guys are kind of annoying to sleep with though, low key. They just kept moving. And then this guy, yeah, big chungus, you just kept snoring all night. But now they, they got up, they woke up. The last time we put the fire, they both got up with me. I left them outside and they found bones and that kept them entertained. So I didn't really go to sleep after that. Well, this thing isn't beeping at me yet. So I don't know. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to turn that. What did I just say? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, blinded by the light, folks. Hey, how's it going? So, luckily we left the generator in here. So this is the strat now, unfortunately. We got a generator out there. That we guys don't have to listen to it the rest of the episode. But, I don't know if this thing's out of propane or what. I keep It keeps going out and it keeps lighting, but for the love of God, I hope it stays lit. This is what the fire is looking like right now. I just added a couple more logs. It's not bad. I need to keep, keep feeding it a little bit. But, even over here, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what. Like I said, maybe this is just like way underkill. But like, why would they sell something? Like, I guess. I mean, they're smaller cabins than this, but not, not by much. I mean, this is a one room deal. Like, I thought this thing would be sufficient. It says nine hundred square feet. This thing's like three hundred and eighty square feet. But maybe it's not included the vaulted ceilings. I guess. Like, if you had it, like, I, I don't know. All I know is I'm freaking cold. My toes are cold. I hope that propane stays on just for a little bit while. So anyways, we're going to jump into some breakfast. Like I said, I'll do, I didn't unbox anything that I had for breakfast. I have it all right in here. So this is what we're having for breakfast duty. All right, so for breakfast, folks, I said eggs, bacon, malta meal. Okay, you guys, like I said, you may or may not know what malta meal is. I, it's one of those like weird things that I like. I feel like most people are like, ew, that's gross, it's weird, but I don't know. I grew up eating it. It's kind of one of those, like, just weird things. I don't know, everybody, I think everyone's got that weird thing that they like, but, like, not many other people like it. But it's malta meal. This stuff. So it's hot, hot cereal. It sounds delicious this morning, since it is freaking freezing. Lucy, you can't have it. It's chocolate. So it's basically just, like, some grain. Uh, you'll see. Um, if you do try it, though, I suggest adding some sugar. It's pretty brutal without sugar. Um, we got eggs. I got three eggs here. Um, I got bread, two two butts and one centerpiece. I like dipping my toast in the malta meal, so we're gonna see if we can make some toast. Um, like I said, we got some water, some sugar. I even brought a little bit of orange juice that we had in the refrigerator, so that's that's good. Um, some butter for the toast, and we got bacon. So that's the plan. We're gonna get to chefing it up. I'm probably going to start with the malto meal, which I cooked. I cooked soup in this thing last night and didn't think to clean it. So I'm going to try cleaning this thing. Um, and then basically you boil a cup of water, put, and then once it's boiling, you put a third of a cup of malto, which I didn't bring any measurements. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to have to wing it, um, essentially. So anyways, you guys stay tuned. All right. So this guy's going to go on top of this. The water was actually frozen in my water bottle. So Lucy, what you thinking, pal? 
Millie, are you sleeping? Oh, now nah, you're sleeping. That's good. I'm glad you slept now and not in the middle of the night. Anyways, I'm gonna load this thing up with some firewood. Hopefully, get that burning or getting getting the water boiling. Um, if it doesn't boil, I, I can try putting it on the cooktop. Um, and then let's get started on the bacon. Hey, how's it going, folks? That's your uh, angle of the day here. Uh, angle of the dangle here. We're gonna cook some bacon. We've got our butcher box bacon. And we're gonna, honestly, we're probably gonna cook the whole thing. Give some to the doggos. I'm sure they're they're hungry. And everybody, everybody loves bacon. So you can't even see me. Hey, how's it going? So we've got the griddle fired up on full blast, mainly because it's creating warmth, which is saving my life here. And let's see what happens. Ooh, it's hot. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I've cooked on this thing like one, one or two times, I think. I did a hibachi and some breakfast. Maybe that was, no, that was two different videos, I think. But we're going to go ahead and lay some bacon on this thing. Start frying some eggs. I'm not sure about our multi meal situation. I haven't checked on it for a minute. I'll have to go see if the water's getting warm or not. Now you guys can see better. Sorry, I zoomed in on this. Now it's time to get some, uh, let's get some eggs going here. I think the multi meal's gonna take the longest, so we're just gonna go ahead and get some eggs and bacon. A little slab of butter. Oh, rip. All right, there. I'll probably turn this down a little bit. It's getting hot. Get that butter going. All right, some eggs. Got three eggs. I forgot salt and pepper, though. Rookie mistake here. Oh yeah, the good stuff here. It, I will say this this the heat that's going on right now is oh rip rip speaking of the heat look at the, the egg carton got toasted right there whoops didn't mean to do that oh yeah eggs are well eggs will be done pretty quick I can tell you that much we'll be ready to rock and roll here soon let me see if I can scrape this bacon it's so weird I've never had bacon stick before Hey, you settle down over there, Dougie. All right, take the eggs off so they don't burn. All right, so take the bacon off. We're gonna let this cool off. All right, so we got malto meal here. So this is this is how you. Oh, I need a spatula for this adventure here. Oh God, yeah, this thing's getting it. Oh yeah, she's boiling. I'll show you guys the fire. This is the biggest fire I've made in here. I'm telling you, it's it's so cold. I'm just like we're loading this sucker up. So check this out. <laughs> That whole thing's getting it right now. Now, I don't know if that's the proper way. I don't know if technically you can like overload these things. I'm sure you can, but desperate times call for desperate measures. And it's when it's this cold, you, you're I'm desperate basically. So the water's boiling. You just, you're supposed to throw like a third of a cup in or something, but I've made this enough times. You could probably eyeball it. You're supposed to kind of reduce the heat. I don't know how you reduce the heat on something like this. I think you're just kind of stuck on high mode here. But stir this up. Basically, just get it to where it's a, like an applesauce consistency. That's about the best way I can describe it. And once it's got applesauce consistency, you can take it off, let it cool. Like I said, add some sugar because it, it's not that great tasting. And then like I'll make some toast, and then well, I'll show you how I eat it. All right, it's time for toast time. Uh, let's see, i got to get this grill relit. It's really smoky in here. I'm hoping it's... I'm hoping it's from the cooking and uh, something's not on fire over there. Can you tell? Yeah, can you guys see that haze over there? I don't know. I mean, I don't see anything on fire yet. That stove, I know, is probably getting it more than it's probably uh, supposed to be, but I said it was pretty darn cold in here, so I was trying to warm it up. There we go. All right, that's going here. Let's heat the cooktop up. Scrape this off. So we're gonna get some butter and some toast, and just make some make some toast. My malt meal did not come out like I was expecting. Like normally, I make a bowl of it, and this is like a I don't know what you call that. Not very much. I didn't put enough water in it, and I didn't put enough malt meal in it. Uh, but I've got a lot of other food, so it's not like I need to like feast feast up or anything. But I'm gonna go ahead, cut a little slab of butter off. Pop them right down there. 
I've never really made toast this way, but I figured it probably worked. Throw it right on. It's like a kind of like a, I guess like a grilled cheese. I don't know. It can't be bad, right? I mean, it's just butter and bread. We'll see if we can get that to turn into toast. I'm gonna keep an eye out. I don't think anything's on fire. I think I would see it, but it, it is smoky in here. I'm guessing it's just from the co the bacon and everything, but it, it seems like I'm seeing a lot of it over there, so I'm not really sure what the strat is, but. Oh yeah, this is looking good. All right, well, once the toast is up, I'll show you the whole spread. Look at that nice toast right there, boys. Shoo, we got, uh, we got the fixins. We are ready to rock and roll. So here's the spread. Obviously, you saw we got bacon. We've got our eggs, which are now uh, about 40 degrees. They're pretty pretty cold now. And then we've got the toast and malt meal. So I'm gonna show you guys how I eat malt meal and toast. I take the malt meal and put it on my toast. Now, this is not the consistency you want. This is what happens when you don't have measuring cups. And it's also cold, so like everything's kind of just like stiffening up a little bit. But I take the malto meal. Normally it's an a about an applesauce consistency. And I stick it on toast. Just like that. Oh god. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, that is a spot when it's freaking 13 degrees outside, Millie. I got bacon for you, buddy. Mmm. Well, it's just not getting light out. I was hoping to see a deer, but that freaking generator outside is probably not helping much. You guys will have to try it. Like I said, Macy doesn't like it, but she probably doesn't like it just because I like it. She thinks everything I like is weird. Like, you know, badgers and bobcats and stuff, but you want some bacon, buddy? Sit. That's your breakfast. Come here, Lucy. That's your bacon. Oh, chill. Well, I think they liked it. Mm, bacon's pretty good. Also a little cold now, but I'll take what I can get this morning. Warm food is. Man, I really wish I didn't have that generator going. Look at this view. Look at that. Sun coming up. Look, you just see a deer come walk down from the woods and boom, you smoke them right from here. But this is kind of what it's looking like outside. I'll I'll take I'll take you guys outside now that it's light out. There you go. So you got the generator going. But now that's now that's lightened up, that's that's what we're dang. I don't think there's gonna be too many deer coming by with that generator going, but there's no other choice. Either that or I'm sitting in the dark. I don't need the, the power for heat or anything. It's just, I wanted to make sure that you guys could see what was going on here. And last but not least, we've got some eggs that are about about frozen here. Eggs, I don't know why. I If I was really paying attention, I would have cooked the malt meal first. It just stays hot really long, then the bacon, then the eggs, but. I botched and didn't bring any salt and pepper, so. Not, not amazing, but definitely not the worst meal I've ever had. Mmm. I'll take it. Well, folks, I think that is where I'm going to end today's video. You can see now it's nice and it's bright outside. That pond froze up last night. You live how cold it is. Neg feels like negative three. Lucy, can you believe how cold it is, buddy? Feels like negative three. Unbelievable. Go, go potty. Go ahead. We need a. We'll, we'll build some steps here. We want to build a deck in the spring. And that's why it's elevated so much. Well, one for snow, um, because if you get like a foot of snow, you won't be able to open your door. So that's one reason why we elevated it. Um, and we want to put like a nice deck out here anyways, if you guys were curious about that. But it warmed up a little bit in here, but something still ain't right. It's either the size of the stove, insulation, combination of both. Um, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Is this totally fine and it's just our insulation job? Because I mean, the whole thing is insulated except for the roof, which I know that's where the heat goes, I get it. but. You know, I've been to a lot of cabins where the roof is not insulated and it still stays warm. Like, I, I might, next time I sleep, I might just sleep here. Like, I might just, because this, this recliner is freaking steaming. I mean, it's, it's nice and toasty. But then where Millie is, sitting here over on this bed, not so much, Millie. It's kind of freaking cold. You can still see your breath. So, the propane has been off for a while. So, confirmed, you can see your breath because of how cold it is here. That is how cold it is in here. And I had the, I literally had the entire, I literally had the wood burning stove running all night. I would say at least every two hours, I was throwing a couple more logs on it, keeping it going. Um, slept in my coat. I mean, I physically wasn't that cold, but as soon as I rolled out of bed, it was freaking freezing in here. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is do I do we? I mean, I'm sure we need to insulate the roof. Like, I, I mean, I can see the light coming in right now. If I climb up this, like you can see the light. Like clearly, that's where all the heat's going, right? I assume. So maybe we need to, maybe we need to seal. It's a lot warmer up here. Okay, the heat's been rising, so maybe. Oh, maybe maybe sleeping in the loft is the strat. I think the, the heat. I think that what is happening is the heat's rising, and it's just escaping just as quick as it's 
basically getting built up. Lucy, you want in, buddy? Come on, buddy. Good girl. Let me know what you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. This was just kind of a trial run. We've got some kinks to work through. We've got to figure out the solar panel so we can at least run lights, which is weird because we've had the solar panels hooked up for like three days and four days probably, four or five days. Like we've ran it for like three, four, five days. Never had any problems. As soon as we start playing the PlayStation, it freaks out. But now, it's to the point where it freaks out on nothing. The only thing I can think of is if the battery's low, like if the solar panel can't keep up, um, and that beeping is about it being low. So we gotta fix the solar panel. We gotta fix the heat situation. Um, what I'll probably do, since obviously we can't insulate the roof like tomorrow, we're gonna have to wait. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is getting some bigger heaters. So instead of those guys, um, I've got some burners that go on the top of big propane tanks, and they're like two big circular burners. And I think having that in here would help. It also helps to not <laughs> sleep in it when it's literally negative three, the real feel. And there's no wind. So it's like, it straight up feels like negative three out here, which probably doesn't help things, but it was a good test, good trial run. I'm gonna go back home, try to get a little bit more rest, hopefully. But before today's video ends, I promise you guys a time-lapse start to finish. So with that being said, you guys enjoy. <laughs> 